Hello viewers, I welcome you all to your own channel Corbita is the Educator. Those who are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel to get the latest CBSC updates and many other educational interesting videos. In today's video, you will come to know the probable questions from probability, all of your favorite chapter. I know all of you like the chapter probability, so you are going to get some important questions from the chapter probability. So don't skip the video in middle, otherwise you may miss some important points. So watch the video till end. Okay, first question we have taken, a bag contains card numbered from 1 to 25. A card is drawn at random from the bag Find the probability that it bears a number which is a multiple of 2 or 3. Mm -hmm. So we have seen that the total number of cards in the bag, we have written total number of cards in the bag equal to 25, right? Now, it is given, find the probability that it bears a number which is a multiple of 2 or 3. So what we have written? The multiples of 2 are, that means from 1 to 25. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 7s are 14, 2 8s are 16, 2 9s are 18, 2 10s are 20, 2 11s are 22, 2 12s are 24. So these are the multiples of 2 from 1 to 25. Then again we have written the multiples of 3 are. 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15, 3 6s are 18, 3 7s are 21, 3 8s are 24. Now after this what we have done, we have marked the common multiples in both 2 and 3. 6, 6, then 12, 12, 18, 18, 24, 24. That means common multiples we have to take only once. So now we have written here favorable outcomes, favorable, favorable outcomes, okay. So the common multiples we are going to write first. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 plus multiples of 2 other than the common multiples, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is 8 plus Again, multiples of 3 other than the common multiples. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So, we are getting 4 plus 4, 8 plus 8, 16. Therefore, we will write probability of a multiple of 2 or 3. Probability of you can write getting, that way also you can write getting a multiple of 2 or 3, right? Now all of you know to find the probability of an event we write total favorable outcome in numerator and total possible outcome, that is the total number of cards in the denominator. So it will be 25 and this will be 16. Now we cannot write this in its lowest form, this is already in its simplest form. So this is the final answer. I think all of you have understood. So next question we have, in a medical examination, I have written in short, of students of a class, the following blood groups are recorded. So this is the table for that. Yes, blood groups are given. All of you know the blood groups A, A, B, B, O. The number of students, 10 students have blood group A, 13, 12, 5, okay. A student is selected at random, find the probability that he or she has a blood group, number 1 B or AB, number 2 O, number 3 A. Very simple, you can write here that he or she has a blood group B or AB, number 2 O, number 3 A, right? So we are going to do the sum now, number 2. So first we have to find out the total number of students. Total number of students. 
So total number of students we have 10 plus 13 plus 12 plus 5, right? So 10 plus 13 is 23, 35 plus 5 which is equal to 40, okay? Now first one is asked B or AB. Now probability of a student having B or AB. Now in this case what you will have to do total number of students will be in denominator that one you can write here first 40. Now number of students having blood group B there are 12 students you can see 12 students then number of students having blood group AB there are 13 students so total number of students having B or AB it will be 20. Five. So 25 is the favorable outcome here. Yes, you can reduce to its simplest form. 5, 5 is a 25. 5, 8 is a 40. So answer is 5 by 8. 1. The next number to it is given. Probability of a student having blood group, blood group O blood group O. Yes, very simple. So how many students have blood group O? Five students. So it will be five by 40. So five ones are five, five eights are 40. Answer is one by each. Now number three, last one. So probability of a student having blood group. I have written in short. Probability of a student having blood group that is given A. Yes, you can write like this. This one also you can write like this. Okay. Which is equal to how many students have blood group A? 10 students. So it will be 10 by 40. So answer is equal to 1 by 4. I think all of you have understood very nicely. Okay, next question again, very, very important. Find the probability of getting 53 Sundays in a leap year. Now, all of you know that in a normal year, there are 365 days. But in a leap year, there are 366 days. So, that means if we divide it by 7, number of weeks we are going to find first. 7, 5, 35. Then 16, 7, 2, 14. So we are getting two extra days. That means 52 weeks in a leap year. 52 weeks and two extra days are there. Okay. Now 52 weeks already we are getting. We are asked that probability of getting 53 Sundays. That means 53 Sundays we have to get. Now, as there are two extra days, first you write here, you just see the total outcomes. These two extra days may be either Sunday, Monday, try to understand. Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, then Friday, Saturday, then Saturday or Sunday. Okay, so these are the possible outcomes. You just see. So those two extra days may be either Sunday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday or Saturday, Sunday. So these are the possible outcome. Okay. So how many possible outcomes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here possible outcome is 7. Possible outcome equal to 
7. Now we are going to find out the favorable outcome. Now you just see in this outcome Sunday is there. So in this outcome also Sunday is there. Right? So there are two favorable outcomes. If it is Sunday, Monday, then also there is a possibility that we will be getting 53 Sundays. And if it is Saturday, Sunday, then also there is a possibility that we are getting uh, 53 Sundays. Right. So right now, therefore, probability of getting 53 Sundays equal to total favorable outcome is what? 2 here and total possible outcome is 7. Now, this same question may be asked in a normal year. In that case, what would be the answer? Can you tell me? Write in the comment section. Next question again, very, very important. A card is drawn from a pack of 52 playing cards. I think playing cards, all of you have seen. Find the probability of getting an ace card, a face card, a red queen card, Neither a king nor a queen card, right? So this is the question, very interesting question. Now, uh, let me give you a short introduction on the cards. How the cards are numbered so that you don't face any difficulty. So gen generally in a uh, 52 playing cards, there are suits. So first is spade, club, diamond and heart. So in each suit, there are 13 cards. So 13 for the total 52 cards. Listen carefully. Okay. So as I told, there are four suits, spade, club, diamond, and heart. So and each suit there are 13 cards. So 13 into 4 total 52 cards. Then how the cards are marked? Like this. A, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, then J, Q, K. Right? So this is for one suit. The cards are marked like this. You can go through. These are available in the market also. If you ask your parents, definitely they will be able to show you the cards. If you see, then the things will be more clear. This A, instead of 1, it is written as A. So these are said to be A's cards. This is said to be ace card. That means in one suit there are one, there is one ace card. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After that, J, Q, K. Right? J means J, Q means queens, K means king. Okay. Now these three cards, J, Q, K, they are said to be what? Face cards. They are said to be face cards. Right. Now in each suit there are three face cards so there are uh, four suits so number of face cards will be equal to four threes are twelve right then out of four suits two suits are black in color and two suits are red in color so diamond and heart diamond and heart are red in color and spade and club are Black in color. So they are, therefore there are 26 black cards and 26 red cards. Just a brief introduction I have given so that you don't face any difficulty. Now we are going to do number one. face any difficulty. Now we are going to do number one. Right? So first you write total number of cards. Total number of cards which is equal to 52. Then probability of getting an ace. So as you have come to know, there are four ace cards. Number of ace cards equal to four. So it will be four by 52. Four, 13. So answer is one by 13. Right? Then number two. Number of face cards, you can write. Number of face card. As I told you, JQK, these three cards are said to be face cards. So in each suit, there are three face cards. 
So as there are four suits, so four trees are 12 face cards. So probability of getting a face card will be equal to 12 by 52. 4 trees are 12, 4 thirteens are 52, right? So answer is 3 by 13. Now next one is given a red queen. Red queen it is given. So there are 26 red cards are there. There are 26 red cards. So it is given red queen. So how many red queens are there? Two red queens are there. Because number of king cards in 52 playing cards, there are four queen cards. Right? There are four queen cards and four king cards also. So it is given red queen. Okay? So two suits are red in color, diamond and heart. In diamond, one queen. And in heart also one queen. So total... Red queens are total. Two red queens are there. So probability of getting a red queen will be equal to 2 by 52. So answer is 1 by 26. I think all of you have watched the video. So the questions what I have given... All the questions I have given from the sample paper. So this type of questions are very, very important for exam. Definitely you can score good marks in exam. So if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest CBSE updates and many other educational interesting videos. Till then, bye-bye. Take care and keep smiling.